Yo. Um, you, you, you enjoy yourself, bud. I'll take this intro. No worries. <laughs> What's up, Fanny folks? As you guys know, we're basically just a glorified Better Lovers channel. So um, we're going to get into some Better Lovers news. Uh, roll that intro. So, um, I don't know how to transition into news, news, news. We are getting into some news, guys. First and foremost, Better Lovers, to no one's surprise, is writing a full-length album. So, this is posted to the PRP. Shout out to the PRP. You'll be seeing them a lot during this recording. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. What the hell? Guys, we are having a so tremendous odd. amount of of trouble recording so i hope you guys understand what we do for you guys and how much we care and if you see me in the streets give me five dollars <laughs> we're all good yep yep our tech our technical difficulties have ended we are on the ship forward to delivering news um so um, obviously, they had their EP come out, God Made Me an Animal, um, just a few months ago, actually. I've listened to it basically every day since it came out. Um, they've confirmed that um, they have a new album's worth of songs in the works and that a single, if not more, will likely arrive before 2024. So first of all, bars. Second of all, this is really good news. Um, I definitely want to hear more music from them. That was one of those few EPs where I think we said um, the one thing we wanted was more because it just like it like it was just an appetizer. Like I need like I need that entree, baby. Uh, no, this is exciting news. The band Better Lovers have just been touring just as much as they were. Like uh, like things are kind of back to normal to their life as the the tour cats that they are. Um, so we're we love to see that and uh that, i mean that that's great news for for everyone who's and maybe you know with that in mind there's a problem there's a parallel with the whole eated uh maybe we never see an eated and you just stop talking about it like it's just we have to celebrate new things that's that's the whole thing right oh we're definitely going to get into that um there's definitely been some rumblings specifically from jordan about that but no yeah i agree Andy even said that during that speech, right? You don't need to think about that. That was something in the past. It was rad. We had a great time. We had a fucking great time. Okay? So please, guys, please be present today and understand that we were watching something very special. But the unfortunate thing, Phil, when you, like, actually, like, go into, like, Better Lovers posts on, like, Metal Injection and stuff like that, all of the comments are like, it's not Eated. It's not the same without Keith. This band's, it's, it really sucks. I didn't think it'd be, the internet's just a shit toxic place in general when it comes to comment sections, but like, there, it, there's a shocking amount of shit takes on this. Yeah, and people who say <clears throat> stuff like that. And speaking of the old band, Keith Buckley has some new news coming out. He has said that he has had a band in the works previously before Be Better Lovers hit the uh, waves. He has come out to say that he's he did a casting call for a music video for uh, a, a song that they've done. He's saying something like that this is some of the heaviest stuff that they've ever done, which is exciting to hear because fans of Eat It and fans of Better Lovers, you know, I, I maybe it's, maybe we're playing this game where they're trying to one up each other with the heaviness and uh, I'm and, here for that. And we're here for it. We're here for yeah. the heavy music. That's what we're. This is what the, the channel's about, right? So, the consumer uh, wins. Uh, the consumer really does win in that case. Uh, hopefully. Uh, in due time and in their own respected manners, they can heal properly. Uh, still no word of what the lineup is for Keith Buckley's uh, band. Uh, is it is it uh, kept a secret? Is it uh, is it no of, no names? I is was it no names? Thinking, I have this weird feeling. Yeah, there's probably a lot of production going into this. I'm assuming there's going to be an album already done. It sounds like with Better Lovers, it was like um light, a lightning in a bottle thing started happening what is mm -hmm. going on that was dicey looking my guy <laughs> 
but yeah, I'm expecting a full album. Um, I'm assuming that's the sort of thing we're going to get. We're going to get a single immediately followed by an album. I'm predicting an album before the end of the year, um, especially if he's been writing since September 2022. I want to also point out that if they're doing a music video today, we'd be remiss if the band, like the band uh, Eated previously has always been about Buffalo. And I think that just comes from the heart of the people who have grown up. This is where they're from. And uh, that they've shown it through their music videos previously. And I think it's just like I said, like, like they're a fan. They've been openly uh, a, like uh, fans of the Buffalo Bills. And they won today in their home state uh, it today yeah. in Buffalo. Uh, so if they did film something, the people are going to definitely be rowdy because uh, that's like uh, so like I, I'm very curious about that. And you did mention Tid the season, which uh, Keith said, uh, you know, he's unfortunately he doesn't have that to look forward to. However, I don't know if you saw on Better Lovers Instagram, they teased something about something like a they showed like a Christmas ornament and then their their logo. So maybe we get a Christmas show from Better Lovers. It wouldn't surprise me. I think it makes sense. I, and I don't think it's, you know, I think they could, like we said before, they could both sort of do it. And I don't think it would be like a tasteless move or anything. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to really pit anyone against each other in this situation. I'm just excited to hear music from both these camps because both better parties, lovers, yeah. better lovers turned out like literally better than I could have imagined it did. And if Keith can come through like with something that just fits, you know what I mean? Something that again, isn't just every time I die 2.0 or something like that, something a little more interesting, still super heavy, but you know interesting something sort of new i'd be i'm i'm so curious it's i'm so genuinely curious to hear what he's cooking up because like i i think we've learned that sonically every time i die a big component of that was jordan mm -hmm. and i want to hear keith over totally different types of instrumentals and uh jordan recently uh did an article or had an interview with corain where he kind of just says like stop talking and like we're kind of people who are sort of adding gasoline to the fire here a little but bit yeah it's hard for us not to because the band was so influential for us but we are i think you and i are respectively trying to say the right things and trying not to set people off in the wrong direction i think we're being very mindful of that i think we're tiptoeing around i don't think right we're drama things. baiting or anything no like that. i don't think I, th I think what we're trying to say here is obviously give the band the respected uh you know, like like obviously we can we can reference the old bands because they did do things and have milestones in their career that maybe that they will, sh you know, f a mimic in their new bands. And so be it, because that's what they're used to. These are the people, this is their life, right? This is their li livelihoods. Yeah. Jordan um, took to Twitter. Um, I'm just going to go through his post. Um, he basically said that he's like forgiven and moved on when it comes to, I guess the situation, um, you know, the death of every time I die and sort of like the band versus Keith, which is sort of how it felt back then. Um, he said, for what I hope is the last time, please allow me to talk about my least favorite thing to talk about before you continue on with what I hope is an absolutely lovely Tuesday. I remember every time I death very differently than the author of this article. I don't recall a sparring match. I remember proudly keeping quiet and exiting an unfixable situation, keeping my composure and not defending myself online against the false accusations found on every news site was my choice and incredibly difficult, but I was in shock. I did it to preserve our final two shows and what I believe to remain of our legacy, and I won't let anyone say otherwise. The actual breakup didn't only have me pitted against anyone, the internet and fans did, which did not make it a reality. Many others were involved, and my goal was always to unite, not divide. I don't live in the past. I don't dwell in the past, but I won't let anyone rewrite it either. My side of the story has never been told, and I intend to keep it that way. I've forgiven and moved on. Accept that, and please do the same. This is like a really emotionally <clears throat> intelligent response, and I think that's really what he's trying to say. Is like just be, me not saying something doesn't mean that everything you've heard is just correct. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. I'm just not talking about this. This is between me and my brother. Yeah, it's funny that you bring that up. That he was sort of that goofy character because I think I know that he is more mindful than he is. Like he can play. I think everyone can play up someone in front of a camera. I think he is. Uh, 
it, a lot of people don't give him as much credit as he deserves. He's a very mindful person. He practices like breathing exercises and like he 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 goes into things uh, you know, pretty calculated and uh, and these t- these tweets included. So like, yeah, give him his space. And so uh, with that being said, I guess uh, we could close that chapter and we could start the new chapter, which is uh, better lovers slash. Keith's new band slash what's up with Michael and James. Oh yeah, we gotta follow Rat Boy closely too. Where are you hiding, boy? Where are you hiding, no Rat Boy? <laughs> we very much intend on continuing to follow this band and um paying attention to all the music that comes out first and foremost above anything else, because we're just such incredible fans of the guys and better lovers. We're huge fans of Keith um keith is like like we're both like vocalists and like like creative writers basically like and like you can't you can't like lyrics and not like keith buckley like it's impossible it makes no sense to me it's like it's like liking painting and not liking paint (laughs) like i i don't know um yeah so uh that's the news guys we're newsmen clickety click feed going by um budgets um what do they do on the news uh well now now the weather it's gonna rain uh, if you aren't already follow us on instagram at banecdotes b-a-n-d-e-c-d-o-t-e-s and uh give this video a like what do you think leave it all down below in the comments take it easy I d- phil do you want your uh do you want this fanta back buddy yeah yeah, yeah. pass me that fanta hey do you want this fanta back yeah yeah one yeah. sec thanks Give my enemies like a nectarine Heard they wanted to hear a little more from me The fuck you mean? Sterilize the game Package it, my piss is pristine Carve it up like Halloween Take your head off the team Byzantine thoughts like I forgot to take my Thorazines At every kickback Serving up everyone amphetamines Filling subscriptions, we don't want no empty magazines Won't admit they may believe they want to wear my face